In this video, we'll show you how to live stream your DaVinci Resolve output to Looper for real-time, over-the-shoulder review and collaboration. If you don't already have a Looper account, go to looper.io. Click Sign Up and follow the steps to create an account. Once Sign Up is complete, head over to the support page of your dashboard. Then click Download LDE. Select the version of LDE for your operating system and your download will begin. Make sure DaVinci Resolve is closed. Then open the LDE installer file and follow the prompts to complete installation. Launch LDE from your Applications folder. Grant the necessary permissions, then click Continue. Now we're going to set up DaVinci Resolve to send an HDMI or SDI signal to your Blackmagic device. Go to the Preferences menu and select System. Choose Video and Audio I.O. In the Video I.O. panel, go to Monitor Device and select the Blackmagic device you would like to use. Select Mirror Audio I.O. Engine Output. Then click Save. You may need to restart Resolve for these settings to take effect. Your video and audio output from Resolve is now being sent to your Blackmagic device. Now let's set up a signal loop using Blackmagic hardware. If your device has output and input ports, you can use it to send an SDI or HDMI signal out and back in, creating a loop. For a detailed view of alternative hardware options, you can go to our support page, click on Live Streaming Setup Guides, Choose HDMI SDI via Blackmagic Hardware and navigate to creating a signal loop. Let's open LDE and set it up to receive the input from your Blackmagic Hardware. First, click on the Settings button. Set the output resolution to the resolution you would like to stream at. We recommend 1080p or lower for the smoothest client experience. Set the frames per second to match the frame rate of your content, then click OK. Click the plus button at the bottom of the Sources panel and select Blackmagic Device. In the Device drop-down, select the device you have fed your SDI or HDMI signal to and make sure that you can see a feed. If you can't see a feed, make sure that you have made a signal loop correctly and that your hardware cables are properly connected. Click OK. The volume slider in the audio mixer panel adjusts the volume of your audio source. Any adjustments made here will affect the volume of the stream for everyone in your looper room. Now let's set up your stream quality. The default settings provide good image quality coupled with modest internet speed requirements for streamers and participants. If you'd like to increase the stream quality, you can select a higher bitrate value from the video and audio drop-down menus. In the dashboard of your Looper account, click Setup Room. You can enter the required details and adjust any additional settings in each tab. Then click Complete Setup. Next, you'll need to set up your room's unique stream keys. This allows your Looper room to connect to the stream from LDE. Click the More icon of the room you would like to stream to. Select Stream Keys from the drop-down menu. Ensure that the Select Encoder drop-down is set to LDE. Copy the stream key by clicking the Copy button. In the LDE main window, click Stream Key. Paste the stream key you just copied, then click OK. Click Start Streaming. You will see a green status indicator in the bottom bar of the application. This means the stream is being sent to your room. In the dashboard of your Looper account, click the Share button of your room. To share the room link via email, enter the emails of your guests. You can also add a message. Then click the Share button. Alternatively, you can click the Copy Invitation or Copy Link button and send it to your participants. To access your room, click the Enter button. Allow access to your webcam and mic when prompted. Check that your desired webcam and mic are selected, then click Go. To avoid hearing double audio, the stream in your Looper room is muted by default for the host, but not for guests. You can hear the audio for your stream inside your room by clicking the Unmute button. There are three layout options for your Looper Room. You can click on the layout icons to switch between them. Filmstrip displays participants in a horizontal row above the video player. Grid tiles your participants for a classic conferencing look. 
and the original layout shows participants down the left side of the screen while keeping the video player large and prominent. We hope this guide was useful to help you get started. Happy streaming! You can check out the support page in your dashboard for more in-depth setups and advanced workflows. Please subscribe to our channel for more looper tips and tricks.